Hello everyone and welcome to the Dungeon Architect tutorial series. In this video we will look at how to create our first dungeon. So after you've installed Dungeon Architect head over to the modes panel and under this go to the Dungeon Architect category and here you'll find a Dungeon Actor. A Dungeon Actor is responsible for building your dungeon so let's go ahead and drop this onto the scene. Now when we click build nothing happens because it says that you haven't assigned a theme file to it and a theme file is a mapping that you specify and tell the plugin on what meshes you like to use to populate your dungeons so let's go ahead and assign a theme file now we don't have any theme files currently in the content browser however the plugin comes in bundled with a few themes so let's go ahead and enable the plugin content so you have to select the view options and then check show plugin contents so this is going to show the dungeon architect content here and you can see all these sample themes that we have here so search for candy c and d y and select this theme and hit build so this has built our dungeon now you can randomize it and click build again and this will give you a completely different dungeon every time you hit build so randomize is basically a helper function that changes the seed value if you change this number you'll get a different dungeon Now you can also build this at runtime so let's go to the level blueprint and select the dungeon actor so we can get a reference to it here let's get rid of okay and call build dungeon So whenever we hit play, we will get a dungeon. Let's move this up a bit. So we get a new dungeon. But every time we hit play, we'll get the same dungeon. We can, so just like how we've randomized the seed over here, we can randomize it in the blueprint as well. So go to the blueprints and get configuration get config and set the seed to some random value and after we've set the seed then we're going to build the dungeon so every time we hit play we get a new dungeon now there are samples where after you've built the dungeon you can place the character on a valid tile so we can uh, we'll look at that later on. 